Maybe we handle these things in a different way. Not trying to be the strongest all the time. Even Messiah? We'll have to see. But do not expect Messiah to arrive in Jerusalem on a tall horse carrying weapons. And he will be most pleased with those of you who are the peacemakers. Where were you yesterday? I had to stay in town later on. There was a woman who needed my help. Did you bug something for her? No. You remember when I said that I have a job that is bigger than my trade? There is a woman who has had much pain in her life. And she was in trouble. So I helped her. Is she your friend? She is now. And I have chosen her and others, and more soon, to join me in traveling. Do they know you? Not yet. But what if they don't like you? <laughs> Many won't. This is my reason for being here. I still don't understand. What is your reason for being here? I'm telling you this. Because even though you are children, and the elders in your life have lived longer, many times, adults need the faith of children. And if you hold on to this faith, really tightly, someday soon, you will understand all of what I'm saying to you. But you ask an important question, Abigail. What is my reason for being here? And the answer is for all of you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. To set at liberty those who are oppressed. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Isaiah. Isaiah. I have loved spending this time with you. You are all so very special. And I hope that my next students ask the same questions you do and that they listen to my answers. But I suspect they do not have the understanding you know. And I hope that when the time comes, they will tell others about me like you have.